Uh, now, if you look back over the last 12 months, what are the events that really stand out for you? Writer and broadcaster Charlie Brooker has got a fair few ideas. He's put them together for a TV show tonight. Looking back at the people and places that have made the news during 2011. We'll chat to him in just a moment. First, though, good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Here's a look at uh, what Charlie made of the subject of media mogul Rupert Murdoch. We <laughs> just say to Charlie, if anyone had seen you wandering around the woods waving your arms <laughs> like that, you would have scared a few people. Well, I, I guess what I tend to do that of a weekend, even yeah. if there's no, no one filming it. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to look like a tramp there. That wasn't actually a conscious decision. I just turned up looking like a tramp and um, there was no time to do anything about it. Uh, we've both seen this programme mm -hmm. and my goodness me, it is packed full of stuff. When you look back over the year, it's... Mm forget all the big things that have happened. I, I know, well, it's, I've, I've realised it's impossible to remember it all in one go. There's so much happened in, in, in 2011. It's a bit like a kind of um, an end of season finale episode uh, of something, which is, which is a worrying thought. <laughs> or, a bit, or, or almost like one of those, you know, you'd watch a series like 24 and it would have a previously on package at the start yeah. that was yeah. just everything cut down into an incoherent sort of blast. It was kind of like that for the entire year. Now, can I ask, Charlie, your, your style, it's kind of, a, it's, it's like a kind of, it's like a rant, isn't it? Hectoring. It's the sort of thing people would do at home, sat watching TV in a way. They yes. might sort of do a commentary to what they're watching. Pretty much, How yeah. do you work out, because some things, like, it's such a mixture of things. You're taking very serious, uh, you know, the, the hour of spring, for example, mm -hmm. you're dealing with, and then on the flip side, you're talking about adverts that have particularly annoyed you yeah. or, or made an impact. So. You, you have to dance, a, so you weave a path through those. Mm. Luckily, I don't actually have to dance. <laughs> no. That would be a lot of people. I got, people Maybe next people time. seem to think I was on Strictly Come Dancing this Christmas because Charlie Brooks was on. I got a lot of confused oh, tweets God. and things like that. But I think anyone tuning in would have soon seen the difference. But uh, sorry, to go back to your yes, point. But there is a, yeah, there is a part, there's sort of a path you tread between, some between of which is. Light and shade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I, I suppose, I mean. Uh, pretty much, as, as you're, which is just mirrors the experience of viewing television, really, is that it will pump horrific news stories at you day into. I mean, this year especially, where the breaking news strap was pretty much, you must have been taping it down, I would have thought. Um, and, and then you'll, you'll, you know, there'll be a, an ad break or you'll flip over and you'll be watching something uh, astronomically trivial. So, so in a way, um, in a way, uh, I guess we're just replicating the, 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 the experience of viewing television and in general. some of the stuff you say is really quite cheeky, isn't it? I mean, is the, it? Yes, I think it is. It's good fun to watch. Certainly, I what, think... What's cheeky about well, it? Well, I think um, the clip we just saw there about Rupert Murdoch yes. and his son, that was mm. quite well, amusing, I think. Which, but... which we then have to go into. We then go into... Because we're not allowed to... That's, that's, that was a pain this year. There was a lot of great footage that we weren't allowed to use. Explain that to us. Well, there's, 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 there's uh, rules covering the uh, uh, footage of any parliamentary proceedings, which, may, which you're not allowed to use in any work of satire or entertainment even. So, so we can't show anything from the House of Commons. We can't show uh, Murdoch getting hit by a pie. Any of that we're not allowed to show. But now, you they get can around in America, that quite sorry. cleverly. You get around that well, quite yes, we cleverly. Got, we got some, I don't want to spoil too much, no. but we got, well, we, you see bits of it. We got the, some of the cast of Made in Chelsea to uh, reconstruct it. I wanted to do it with a nude House of Commons, but there wasn't the budget or time, or actually, <laughs> I think, will. But do you know, the funny thing is that when you think about, you mentioned the pie incident, mm. the Murdoch, I mean, there must be times when you're sat at home watching these thinking, you know, I couldn't make this stuff up. I mean, you, all the time you would you can't believe what the, the material, if you like, is coming mm. that, you know, at some point you're going to have to talk about. Well, it. I think there's been a general sense that that I, I don't know if reality is 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 trying to compete with sort of smartphones for our attention or something. I don't know what's going on, but the news has progressively seemed more and more surreal recently. I mean, and, 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 and more and more like a movie. A lot of people have commented on that. that like what? Like well, the whole, the, the, the whole phone hacking affair has felt like you're watching the movie adaptation live, if you see what I mean. I mean, I don't know how they, they, they just have to edit it together to make a movie of it. You don't need to cast Michael Sheen you as say Hugh Grant. Point, You've got Hugh Grant being yeah. Hugh Grant. You say at one point in the programme, um, when you thought it was really bad, it gets worse. And then yeah. when you thought it got worse, it gets worse again. Yeah, it was almost, it, was, it became almost comical throughout the year, how horrible the news was getting. I, I mean, and for the purposes of this, of course, I have to watch it twice. So I sort of experienced 2011 twice, um, which I don't recommend. For, for your for your for your psyche but there are moments like you say light and shade there are some really funny moments in Good. the program i love the um royal wedding section yes that's quite well you have to be fun. careful what you say about the royals as well actually do you yeah i mean well we got doug stanhope who's an american to to, to to comment on on a lot of that yeah i mean there was 
the, generally, I, g genuinely, though, what I say in there, which is what I was playing a video game during the royal wedding, which was true because I mean I didn't have, have anything against the royal wedding. I just, you know, I'm not particularly sentimental or nice, so I, I kind of glanced at it and and, and went back to playing. And do you have a kind games. of who is the one? I mean, you say you're not very nice. But well, I think no, you're I doing stuff that. that. You're doing, I'm lovely, yeah. really. Yes. But you, clearly, your thing is that mm. you push it quite close to the edge. Do you? Have, who, who's the person who sort of sits on your shoulder saying, "Calm down, calm down"? Is there someone who has that role? <laughs> uh, well, gen uh, generally, the, the producer this year was a producer called Ali Marlowe, who was very good. Had to put up with me uh, um, at all. I mean, because we're often in the edit till very late. Yeah. Um, uh, and and then actually we, we were in the edit and we were it was like 5 a.m. on a Sunday well on a Monday we'd been there we were because we were running gruesomely late and so we were there still on a Sunday morning um, and uh, and suddenly we saw breaking news that Kim Jong Il had died and um, yeah there was there wasn't time to do anything about it. Did it make it, it? Didn't make it into the? I think we we get we you chuck in a token gesture right at the start yeah. because I mean what can. What can you do? The year was just taking the mickey. It was just being sarcastic <laughs> by that point. It's, it's not, not over yet. yet. Over. Yeah. I know, I know. It's the 30th today, isn't it? Yeah, I keep yeah, losing yeah. track. There's still time for a nuclear war. Yeah. Not, if you're, in, uh, yeah. not yeah. if you're in Samoa, of course. Uh, no, because it, the 30th is, doesn't exist. It's New really? Year's Eve now in Samoa. Because they've lost a day. Nearly. How can they... How? They've just decided. You no, they have just decided. Have no, I haven't. I haven't been, no, I've been. I've been gaining consciousness throughout okay. the morning. The simple version, Charlie, is that they've decided they, that they're in the wrong time zone, so they've lost the 30th of December. Well, how? how they're jumping from the 29th to the 31st at midnight. Well, what happens when you? What? Yes. Yeah. So they're a day ahead from yeah. now. They're going to be. Yeah. Well, that's. That's ridiculous. We should have had you here earlier. There must be we? some sort of rule against that. That's, no, that'll no. be for next year's program, sort of. I'm devastated by that news. <laughs> that just that's not on. Yeah, it's happened. Charlie, thank you very much. Nice to see you here. Thank this you. Morning. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder for you, Charlie Brooker's 2011 Wipe is on BBC Four tonight at 10:30.